It's easy to get up and work if you're devoting yourself to a mission versus getting up and devoting yourself to pure profit, at least for me. So, um, and also, I had a tradition of uh, public service in my family. My grandfather was a CBP officer and flew in bombers in World War II. My father uh, was in uh, the Army as well, as, as well as my uncle, and then I joined the Army as well and uh, enjoyed public service and uh, kept the ball rolling. So I'm the uh, program manager for the Forensics Criminal Investigation Program at the Science and Technology Directorate. And with less jargon, what that means is the Secret Service and ICE and uh, CBP have investigative missions, amongst others, in DHS. And they come to us with technological challenges that they need help with. So the things that we develop can span the gamut from characterizing evidence at a crime scene, all the way to what we're heavily invested now is in digital forensics and combating child exploitation online. We have uh, 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 several efforts underway presently, and one of the activities we have underway with ICE HSI, our agents attribute our capabilities to rescuing 67 kids and arresting 44 pedophiles essentially, and we've gotten uh, 10 convictions so far with many more to come. And that's just in a very small initial sort of pilot effort with one field office. The difference I think that we are making, we're advancing that state of, state of the art in terms of technology to allow investigators to investigate more crimes faster, ultimately rescuing uh, victims quicker and arresting perpetrators. It is humbling to work in the team that I work with, both at the Science and Technology Directorate and also with our law enforcement investigators. These put, people are putting in the extra effort um, to make our, uh, our nation safer. <laughs>